everyone and welcome to our touch base Thursday for July 29th um, I am excited to be going live with all of you on my birthday so like my little tiara I'm just gonna give it a couple minutes for all of you to find me live before we go ahead and get started here um, and then we will get started on our projects for tonight so if you are live with me go ahead and comment and tell me hello and uh, we will get started in just a couple of minutes here. So um, today is indeed my birthday. I have a little tiara today, um, pink, right? I'm the birthday queen. So anyway, um, I have a, an awesome promotion I'm gonna, going to be offering all of you in conjunction with my birthday. So I'll talk about that here in just a little bit as well. So hi to Patty and Philomena and Kay. Um, welcome ladies. Hi Denise. Thank you. I know you're all going to wish me a happy birthday. So I'm going to thank you all in advance. Um, someone at work said to me today, what are you doing tonight for your birthday? And I said, I'm doing a Facebook live and I got, you're doing a what? And I said, yeah, I'm doing my Facebook live. They're like, aren't you going to go out? Well, I'm like, I said, first of all, my Natalie has gone to a, a camp and no, I'll do that another night. Like I want to go live with all of you. So anyway, um, you're getting me birthday style today with my pink um my pink tiara um so anyway um i am actually i'll tell you how old i am today it's not a milestone yet next year will be but i am 49 today um so anyway um so i don't feel a year older i think it's all about um how you how you respond to that right so anyway but i'm excited to be going live with all of you and thank you all so much for the the birthday wishes so um because I'll be talking to you about a promotion that I'm, I'm offering um, later um, in my Facebook Live um, as, as part of my birthday. I'm celebrating with all of you. So we'll talk about that in a little bit. So just a few things that I have in the way of announcements. I'm going to give it a couple minutes here. I see I've still got some people logging in and saying hello. So hi to Lisa and Janet and Chris and Paula. I think I've got most of the people as you guys have been popping in. Um, so anyway, I went to work today, didn't do anything fancy for my birthday. We're going to celebrate it probably on Saturday, do a little bit of back to school shopping, probably go out for, for lunch or something like that. But um, I was off last week for vacation so with my family. So I ended up going to work today and actually worked late today. I didn't even get home until like quarter to six. So anyway, um, a few things in the way of announcements that I have for you. So um, I mentioned Natalie's at dance camp, so I get to go tomorrow and pick her up and get to watch her little performance of what she's learned. So I cannot wait to see that. It's always neat to see what your kids learn at camp and how they progress and how they advance and things like that. And then next week on Wednesday, we get to take Claire to um, Blue Lake Fine Arts Camp, which is a camp on the west side of Michigan. And it's a pretty amazing camp for fine arts, and she's going there for her cello. And she just got her placement um, information today of where she's going to be staying and what um, placement she's in for what or orchestra she's in. And we found out that she is in the highest placement. She's actually in the chamber orchestra and not the two string orchestra options. So she's a little nervous, but she got placed in the highest um highest one we had to submit a video so we did a video about two months ago and submitted that so she's a little nervous so she's got a, her last cello lesson with her professor on Sunday and so he's gonna try to calm her down and tell her she's got this but we're I'm so excited for her so she'll be gone for 12 days and the hard part with that camp is there's no contact with them whatsoever so like Natalie I at least hear from her at nighttime before she goes to bed or or like this morning she texted me happy birthday but um but for this one with Claire uh, there's no contact. She has to leave all of her devices home. She said to me tonight, Mom, you need to buy me a watch because I can't take my watch. Her, her watch is a, like a, a device watch, so she can't take it. She needs like the old time, I call it the old fashioned watches that we used to have, right? So I'm like, oh yeah, you're going to need a watch. So anyway, um, you know, just different things, but I think it's kind of neat. They have to completely unplug, they focus, and we also get to watch. Um, so she's gone August 4th through the 15th, and then we pick her up on the 15th, and then we get to watch what she's performed as well. So, but she is just, she's excited about what she's going to be doing and excited with her placement, but also nervous. But I had to email her, um, 
I had to email her um, professor right away or, of who's teaching her, and he was, like, so excited. He's like, that's so awesome. I mean, he was just so excited for her. And so, um, anyway, so now she at least knows where she's placed. And last, the first time she went was, her, you know, her first year playing cello. She was in, so they have two string orchestras, and then they have the chamber orchestra. And she was in the lowest string orchestra. But well, it was her first year, right? So she actually bumped up completely to the top. So, anyway, huge growth for that girl in just two short years. So, anyway, I hope that you guys liked my video that I did with you last week, the pre-recorded video on the Squared Away Bundle. Um, and I wanted all of you to comment over on YouTube, on my, on my Facebook, uh, on my YouTube channel. And so I do have um, a lucky winner for somebody who shared on my YouTube channel, or not shared, who commented. All you had to do was comment. Um, and so a thank you to all of you who did that. So, and I put all of your names in the hat who did that. And the lucky winner, what I'm giving away is some 6x6 designer series paper. It is the new in color designer series paper. And the winner of this paper for the, the I said I was going to do a special drawing with a special gift. And the winner of this is Philomena Soso. So congratulations to Philomena. Um, that will go in the mail to you, okay? Um, and I think... Um, yeah, I think I sent a package out to you just today with your, with, so all of my kits went out. So I had people who bought kits that um, went out. So this will come out separately. And then I also have, um, <clears throat> for those of you that from two weeks ago who shared my um, video. So two weeks ago would have been the video where I, we got cut off and I had to redo it. That's Christmas Tidings one. Um, I had the Playing With Patterns, Resin Dots, and the Wonderful Gems. And the winner of the um, Playing With Patterns dots is Cindy Wood. So congratulations to Cindy. And um, I'll get those in the mail to you, Cindy. And then the winner of the um, Wonderful Gems is uh, Maureen Preston. So congratulations to Maureen and to Cindy. And you are welcome, Philomena. And thank you for watching that video and commenting on it. I appreciate it. Um, up for grabs next week. I'll be drawing two winners. And it's actually ribbon that's going to be going with what I'm going to be focusing on tonight. Um, it is some of the Evening Evergreen ribbon. And it is some of the, choo, 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 let me see what this is, Fine Art ribbon. Okay, so those are the two bolts of ribbon. Um, and what I'm going to talk to you all about real quick is my ordering promotion as I'm celebrating my birthday with all of you. So I will be posting a link in the description of the video, and it will be a direct link. It will include a host code. Um, any of you that want to put in an order from now through Sunday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Time, you will receive 20% off an order. Happy birthday from me to you, from you to me. Anyway, I'm offering all of you an ordering promotion of 20% off an order um, to celebrate my 49th birthday. So um, how that's gonna work is you're gonna have to either give me your order, I'll submit it for you, or if you wanna submit your order, I will reimburse you your 20% discount um, or 20% off through PayPal or I'll send, send it to you, we'll figure that out. Um, but that is what I'm offering as an ordering promotion just for a short time. So I wanted to make my announcement here before I put it live over on my page for all of you to hear about that. Uh, but it basically, I, a little bit of a birthday um, promotion um, as I celebrate my birthday. So uh, that is my awesome promotion that I have right now. Okay, so a few announcements before we get started. Um, first of all, the holiday catalog starts this coming week on um, the 3rd. The 3rd is Tuesday. So the holiday catalog, you can order from the holiday catalog beginning um, August 3rd. Now I've heard from a lot of you that you received your catalogs in the mail. If you have not received a catalog in the mail from me and you would like one, let me know and I'll get one in the mail to you. Celebration also begins August 3rd. So excited about this celebration, you guys, because there's so many coordinating products that go with stuff in our annual catalog and the holiday catalog. And this is the first time that they've offered, that they as in Stampin' Up! has offered a celebration during the, um, that has offered a celebration during the month of um, the months of the summer. So it's the first time you have from August 3rd through September 30th. And um, I'll be um, focusing in, in my Facebook Live next week. I'm going to talk to you all about penguins. There's an awesome penguin bundle in the holiday catalog, an awesome celebration paper. So I'm going to be focusing in on my penguin stuff that I created next week. Um, 
I have most of it done already, so I can't wait to show you guys that. A few more little tips and tricks and things I want to work on. And then also there's an awesome promotion for joining Stampin' Up! during Celebration on the, on the promotion on the starter kit. So, and I don't even like to call it a starter kit, but you can purchase the, a kit of products of your choice for a hundred and, um, or sorry, you get to pick $125 of product and you only pay $99 plus tax. So here in Michigan, our tax rate is 6%. So it's $99 plus the 6% comes to $104.94. So free shipping. So you save 10%, you get $125 of product, plus you get a free bundle of your choice. And we have some of our bundles in our catalog that are up to like $52, $57. The one I'm gonna be showcasing tonight is actually a $52 bundle. So you could get this bundle for free if you decide to join my team during the celebration promotion. So um, you'll be hearing me talk about that. I'm all about a good deal. It's a risk-free kit. You don't have to do anything additional, um, but I'm all about a good deal and I'm all about sharing those deals with you guys. So you'll be hearing me talk about that quite a bit over the next um, two months because like I said, it's an amazing opportunity. Um, all of my class kits, well, most of them have shipped. Um, so if you purchased any of my class kits, they shipped today. Tutorials are going to be being emailed out. I got to finish typing a couple. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm behind yet from vacation, but the kits themselves have shipped. Um, the, the turtle card class, color contour class, bloom or your planted class, and my Christmas card class. Now we have to cut a couple more Christmas card kits. So two or three of you I think might not be getting those kits um, just yet. It was a popular class, so I'm excited. We do have a couple extra that we're gonna be prepping. So if you wanted that tidings and trimmings class and you didn't take advantage of it, you still can get it. And then we also have a couple of the um, the other um, classes, we have two of each of the other kits left over. We have two turtle um, and friends kits, two of the color and contour, and two of the bloom where you're planted. If you're interested in any of those classes, let me know. We can hook you up, okay? Um, and then I wanted to talk to you a little bit. Oh, thank you, Philomena. I try. I try to keep my announcements short and sweet and to the point. Um, my online bingo is August 18th. Now, some of you might be thinking I'm doing like an online party. I had to change the name of it on Facebook to online fun party. They don't like me using the word bingo um, because they consider bingo to be like gambling. But the, the one that has the penguin graphic, that is actually my, my um, bingo. $35 for six games of bingo, your chance to win awesome prizes. My, my make and takes are, are the penguin, some of the penguin projects that I've got created. Um, and you'll get an awesome embellishment that you'll use on your projects. So that registration is open now. The rest of my classes for August will open um, this coming week. Um, they are designed and pictures are taken, but I got to get them out into my system to be able to promote out to you guys. So that's on my to-do list this weekend. Um, so with that, um, thank you, Pat. Yes, my little, my little tiara. My girls found that for me, told me I had to wear it for my Facebook Live. So I'm like, okay, I'll do it. I normally don't do these kinds of things, just so you guys know. It's normally not my thing, but I told them I would do it for this one. So, okay, I believe that is everything I have in the way of announcements. Um, lots of exciting things coming up this next week with the start of that new catalog. Um, and I've got, like I said, some awesomely fun cl classes planned that's going to be going on. And again, that ordering promotion, 20% off um, in honor of my birthday, now through Sunday night, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So with that, I am going to transition the camera let me move my stuff out of the way down to this, my stamp area. I have created some cards and a, a neat little 3D box project that I'm going to share with you using the Beauty of Friendship bundle. And it's one that I kind of, I mean, I created with it and then I never shared it with you. And so I knew I wouldn't have a lot of time to create and get stuff ready with me being on vacation. So I, I decided to bring one out that I designed kind of when our catalog first came out to share with you. Um, and I it was, it was easy for me to be able to prepare a couple kits of this to cut or to cards to cut things up and get it prepped and ready. And so I'm going to be sharing this with you. And this is an awesome bundle that can be used any time of the year. It is in our annual catalog and it's a great bundle because I think it's a great one to get for free with that join promotion. Um, cause I always say go big or go small, right? Or go home. They say, because if you're going to do the join promotion, you want to get one of the most expensive bundles that you can get. 
And by a bundle, it refers to a stamp set and coordinating dies or a stamp set and a coordinating punch. So I'd rather see you get like a $52 bundle than a $30 stamp, stamp set and punch because why not get more for what you can, right, with the free bundle. Okay, so with that, I'm gonna transition my camera down to my stamp area and we are going to get started. And I gotta tell you, I walked downstairs to some beautiful flowers that were brought here and I didn't even have a chance to to talk to my daughter to see who um, brought them here. Um, I came down like literally at um, at five to seven and I'm like, oh, they're on this table. So whoever you are, if you are watching, thank you. Um, and then I also came home to a beautiful bracelet um, that I am actually wearing. It's this beautiful bracelet right here um, that I got from one of my friends as well that was dropped off off at my house so anyway I'm just gonna move my camera here and adjust a little bit so thank you guys for the love I, I absolutely love it okay so you're gonna get a little bit of a sneak peek and I'm gonna pick a lot of this stuff up so that you guys can't see it too much because I can't give it all away yet um, and I'm gonna be doing some stamping with you tonight to show you you're gonna see here in front of me I got all these green ink pads because I'm going to be sharing with you. I think I pulled every single color of green ink pad that we own or that Stampin' Up! makes because I'm going to be sharing with you some techniques tonight on stamping with this awesome Beauty of Friendship stamp set. Okay, now the bundle itself again is in our annual catalog and you have a stamp set and coordinating dies and together it is $52, making it a perfect bundle to take advantage of for our joint promotion. You also have some beautiful paper, and the paper has, I mean, this would be great for the fall time, wouldn't it? You have Mary Merlot, Cinnamon Cider, Bumblebee, Old Olive, Mossy Meadow, and Misty Moonlight in there. <clears throat> and then there's some cards, excuse me, <clears throat> some cards over here um, that are some samples of things that, that, that they have made with this. So I'm going to share with you the, the dies in a little bit of detail here. So this is the stamp set. And what I like about this is you have like the, the two-step stamping. Now, I created some cards where I did both stamps. And then you can create them where you can only maybe just use the one. And you get this awesome look by doing one or both. It's pretty awesome. Um, Denise, if you join, can you order? Yes, if when, if when you join on August 3rd, if you're interested in joining, you can absolutely order from the um, holiday catalog. That's the awesome thing. So yes, 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 you can. And thank you, Pat. Um, I'm glad that you think I'm an awesome birthday queen. And thank you, Kathy, for the birthday wishes. Just seeing some of your guys' comments coming in. And hi, hi to Kay. Okay, so these are some of the awesome dies that you have so you have this this awesome tree you have a tree topper that can go on top of it so you could use this tree by itself you could use the tree on top of it you could use um this tree right here this like little like leaf looking tree on top of there if you want or you could just use um you know it it on its own or put this on. i mean you could, there's so much you can do you see how you can mix and match this in so many awesome ways and then you have um dies that will cut out the different little shapes here. So this little tree right here is kind of cool because you can use that tree and then you can either use this right here as the topper to the tree or you can use those as bushes or as a bush, I should say. So lots of different options here for you to be able to do with this awesome, um, this awesome die set. So this makes really good, you know, cards for even for masculine cards, which are kind of hard to do sometimes. So that is the bundle. The next thing I'm going to share with you is, is the designer series paper. So this paper is called, I think it's called Beauty of the Earth, I think. I took a one, this time I'm actually very well prepared and I have a piece out of every single one of them so I can share it with you. Um, so you have this one right here. And then I, what I like about this one is you could cut, so I'm just gonna kind of share with you some ideas as I brainstorm ways to use the different designer series paper. So with this, you could cut this into little strips of paper and have that be like on your card, like as an actual little um, uh, strip on the bottom, like it's a, a, a set of trees. So I like that a lot. Um, you could then also use just the solid green here. Um, this one I really like too because you can cut this. You're going to see one of the cards that I created where I cut this in half and then I used this to make six card fronts um, for cards. And then on the back of it, you have another different one of the just the green, the old olive. 
And then you have this one, which this one to me definitely screams fall, but I love it. It's so pretty. And on the back, you have the pretty blue. And then you have this one right here. I'm going to pull these two in together at the same time because these two right here are, are perfect for using, let me show you the die. So if you wanted to do like a tree that was like a summer, this would be the summer themed tree. This could be the fall themed tree. So if you wanted to just cut out this die right here, it makes it perfect for like kind of being like it's just the leaves of a tree. Um, and you could use this for the fall, like the summer one, like the leaves are still green and then the leaves are changing kind of thing. So you're going to see I did do one as if it was fall um, doing just that. So the paper really leads way very nicely with those dies. On the back of these two, you have, again, another one that can definitely be used for the fall. And then you have like a, a tree bark um, one or wood grain. And then this one I really like. This one could almost be used if you wanted it to for Christmas, I feel. Um, or it could also be used for the summertime. But I really like the colors in this. And then on the opposite side, you have this. Now, this would be beautiful for a scrapbook page, I think. So those are the six different patterns that you get in the designer series paper. Again, sometimes I think it's hard to decide which side of the paper you want to use because they're both so pretty. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to share with you is my 3D project. Now, this is an oldie but a goodie. And I decided to share it with you because I have not pulled out the instructions for this box in a long, long time. And I don't know if Nancy um, is watching, but one of my customers, Nancy, um, you know, had, was talking to me um, today about, you know, things that ways that she can sell her cards and, and use up all of her cards that she's been making. And it kind of gave me the, the idea to put together a box. Uh, what I used to do when I first started stamping before I was a demonstrator, I used to give away these kinds of boxes full of cards. Now, how awesome is that? Now, again, all I did was I made the top and the bottom with designer series paper for the top, cardstock on the bottom, added my ribbon, tied it in a nice bow and all I'm going to do is untie it and inside of here is where you could fit your cards with envelopes. Now I'm going to be turning my cards over because I don't want you to see them all but you're going to see that the cards fit perfectly in here. You could probably easily fit about eight to ten cards with envelopes in this box. Now how awesome would that be as a gift to give somebody an assortment of handmade cards for Christmas? This this is exactly what I do every year for my boss for Christmas. Now I didn't last year because of, of COVID. We weren't in the office at Christmas time, but this is what I used to give um, my boss for Christmas. And I used to make his um, card or his box even a little bit thicker so that I could fit about 20 cards in there, but I would just tie it with ribbon and he loved it. He told me it was the most, uh, when I first gave it to him the very first year, which is probably about my third or fourth year working with him, um, I didn't know what he would think of it because he's a guy, right? And he sent me an email over the holiday break because we have the week off between the holidays. And he told me it was the most thoughtful and amazing gift that I've ever given him. And that it would definitely come to good, come in good use with um, him and his wife for all the cards that they send to people. And I just gave him a variety. You know, I did some that were sympathy, get well, birthday, thank you. I mean, I just gave him a good little variety. So I'm going to give you the dimensions on how I made this box. Now, this will also be, um, I'll be doing a blog post um, either tonight or tomorrow. I'll have all the measurements there and I'll link that blog post here in the description of my video. So if you don't catch um, the measurements tonight or you're not able to write them down, um, don't fret. Um, I will be able to get them to you. And I'm going to have to go get my paper trimmer. I got to share with you guys why my trimmer is not handy. Um, it's right behind me. So Claire, my daughter Claire, made me a, a birthday card. I should have brought it down to show you guys. I will post a picture of it in my page in my group. But she got home early from daycare, or from daycare, from babysitting today. And she came down here and made me a birthday card. I'm telling you guys, it is so sweet. Um, it made my day. Made my day that she came down and knew the measurements and started cutting. It was so cool. Okay, so what you're going to do for your card base is your, this is the bottom of the box. So all I did is I chose a piece of cards of, of, of um, designer paper, and then I chose a piece that coordinated for the bottom, okay? So you can mix and match these however you would like them to. I chose to use the, um, 
the Knight of Navy, and then I chose to use the piece here that has Knight of Navy in it. Now your your um, your bottom of your box is going to be seven and three fourths by nine. So seven and three fourths by nine, and I did cut this out in advance, just the size, but I didn't do the scoring just because I thought I could do that on um, line with all of you. So we are going to score this at one and a half. So I'm just going to score this at one and a half on all four sides. Okay, so one and a half. Again, this measurement is seven and three fourths by nine. And I'm scoring it at one and a half on all four sides. I'm just going to put that to the side for right now. And then your designer series paper is cut seven by eight. And this we are going to score at one inch on all four sides. Because and another little tip for you, if your paper is kind of busy on one side, it might be easier for you to flip it over and score it on the other side for you to be able to see it. The other thing is I like to sometimes use the opposite end of my ruler, the one inch on this side, because it's easier for me to score. So I'm gonna line it up at one inch on there and then score it that way. It's just a little bit easier for me than trying to line it up this way with it being tight and close to where I'm scoring. So I'm just gonna line it up at the one inch there and I'm gonna score this on all four sides at one inch. Again, quick and simple, easy box, nothing too complicated with this at all. And then, and I see that Claire took my scissors, but she put a different pair here. Look at that. So all we're gonna do now, I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm going to cut up on these tabs, these four tabs. Okay, and you could do it, it doesn't matter which end you do it to. If you um, are gonna cut the, these two this way, you need to cut those two that way. So either way, <coughs> excuse me, and then I like to actually do what they call a little miter cutting where you cut the little ends out of them. It just kind of helps the box come together a little bit and these um, nicer. And um, we're going to do it on the other side here. Just going to cut them off a little bit. So what that does when you when you cut the little, the little tabs in a little bit, all it does is when you glue this together, it doesn't um, have the... Um, I'll show you what I mean here. When we glue this up and in, it doesn't let that part hang over. It's smaller, or it goes right down and it doesn't kind of come up and over. So sometimes I like to be able to do that. It just makes it a little bit cleaner when you're putting boxes together. So we're just gonna go ahead and fold in. Um, and so you're gonna kind of fold in or however you want the box lid to look. Now, I always say when you're trying to figure out where to put your adhesive, you wanna make a tent. So we're making a tent. People that are underneath the tent, right? I'm all about little tips and tricks. <coughs> and then you're going to put adhesive. I got a tickle in my throat. Sorry, you guys. You're going to put adhesive. Now, you're going to either want to use tear and tape or a strong, probably a stronger bond than the seal. But I have the seal handy, so I'm just going to use it. And I'm going to put adhesive on all four of these tabs. And then from there, I'm just going to take this and fold it up and inside. Not on the outside, because the adhesive's on that part. So I'm folding it up and in, and I'm lining up that score line to the edge of that box. And I'm just gonna fold it up and in. Oh, Nancy, I was just talking about you. I was just telling them, Nancy, about um, how you were looking at selling your cards, and I was talking to you about this box that I was gonna be making tonight. So you're just in time. Okay, so there's your box lid. And then you have the box bottom. We're going to do the exact same thing with this. We're going to um, cut up on these. And I like, again, to kind of cut those out a little bit. So I'm just going to cut that out like that. Push them out of the way. And we'll do the same thing on this side. You can see how quick and easy it would be to put this together um, if you're making a lot of them. Like, I know that I did this, I think I made like 30 of these and I gave them to all my family when I first started. Like all my um, sister-in-laws and my, I really need to do that again because gosh, I have so many cards from me doing so many. 
And you know, sometimes I think I forget to, to take advantage of that and just share them. That's what I need to probably start doing more. Okay, so I folded that all in. Again, we're gonna make the tent, so you know what side to put the adhesive on. You wanna make the tent, that's where the people are gonna go underneath, and then that way you know that your adhesive goes on this outer side. Um, that's kind of how my little trick of the trade has been. And then again, you're just gonna do the same thing. So again, by me cutting those little that little end off, it puts it in there really good. And then it brings this up and I have no overhang. So sometimes you might have that little bit of an overhang where that might not line up perfectly. And then you have that little bit of an overhang. So by me taking that little tab off, I don't have that overhang at all. I have a nice, clean, finished line. And that is why I do that. It's called miter cutting. And it's just a little way to make it a little bit cleaner. Okay. And then you have your lid that goes on it perfectly, just like that. So again, I'm gonna bring my cards in so you can see that you um, can easily put your cards in here. Now this holds, this is um, five cards. And then you can put you know five envelopes. I think I put eight to 10 cards in here with envelopes and it holds it perfectly. Now you can also decorate the box if you wanted to. So let me bring in the sample one that I showed you. You can see that I chose different designer series paper to share with my for my sample with all of you. This is the one that I initially showed you. And then all I did, you again, if you wanted to, you could put a tree on here. You could decorate this any way that you wanted to. The other thing that would be neat is if you made like, let's say you made, um, you know, cards like all in like maybe candy cane cards or all one certain product suite, you could decorate the box the same way. So, I mean, the I had tons of possibilities. But then all I did, I'm going to take that one out of here because I used this one, is I wrapped ribbon around it. So I just cut a piece of ribbon. I kind of measured how much I needed by, by doing this before I actually um, put it on there. Um, and all I did was I started... I started on the, t on the bottom like this, okay? So I put that down like that, and then I just brought this up to make sure that they were about the even, which they are. I can't bring it up too far because of my camera. And then all I did was cross it here. Yes, this is a great little gift box. Oops, I have it. I don't have that straight, and it's gonna drive me crazy. I got a little twist in it. There we go. Okay, so all I'm gonna do is bring this straight up. Donna, how am I doing on my 3D project? If Donna's still watching. Okay, so I'm gonna bring it up like that. And I'm gonna bring it around like this. And then I'm gonna flip it up. I'm just gonna make that straight. And then I'm gonna bring these up. And then all I did, now if you're not big into tying bows, you can just tie a knot. You do not have to tie a bow here. Um, I tied a bow just because I'm kind of gotten better at my bows. But if you don't wanna tie a bow, you can just tie it in a knot, okay? You don't have to tie a bow. Um, and I don't, didn't have my ribbon quite in half, so my bow is not gonna be the same size, but you get the gist of it, okay? And then if you really wanted to, you could even put this down with the glue dot to hold it down a little bit more. All right, thank you, Donna. I love that vote of confidence. All right, so there you have a great little box. And again, this would be a great box for all kinds of different things, like Philomena said. It's a great little gift box um, that you can do. So again, um, I'll post the measurements for this on my blog at kimsbasementbunch.com. And it'll also be a link in the description of my video. Um, it might not happen tonight, it might be tomorrow because I told my husband that I am going out for ice cream tonight for my birthday. So that is the one thing that I am doing after my, after my Facebook Live. Okay, so there's the little box that I wanted to share with you that holds cards. Um, so I'm gonna encourage all of you to, to, to give some cards away. Make a couple of those great little boxes. Give them to your favorite nurse or give them to your favorite, um, you know, bank teller or anything like that. So I encourage you guys to do that. Okay, so let me see which card I have on my stash here to share with you first. Um, actually, I think I'll start with this one because then I'm going to show you guys some stamping techniques. Now, if I don't get through all of my cards, which I know I probably won't, I'll at least kind of give you guys some of the some of the details of them. Um, but I want to show you guys the neat things that you can do and how you can stamp um, different things and get different colors with the different ways that you can stamp. Okay, so for this card right here, I used the 
the big like looking um, tree right here, or tree bush, whatever you want to call it. I used it just as a tree. And let me bring in the stamps because I have those on blocks already. And I have some Whisper White cardstock here. So before I get started, um, thank you, Shelby, and thank you, um, Courtney, for the birthday wishes. So let me bring in some of this and I'm going to show you guys some awesome things. So on this one, I used Mossy Meadow. So I'm going to start with Mossy Meadow. Let me find my Mossy Meadow. I do have it. Like I said, I pulled every single green. Now, the stamp set you can see here, you have um, two different ones here. So I'm going to stamp, first of all, the, the two of them separate um, using Mossy Meadow. Let me make sure I have my cleaning cloth here. Yep, I do. So I'm going to show you the different look, and I hope I don't need a mat underneath this. I hope it'll work. Um, but this is just the one that does not have much detail to it. Okay, so it looks like that. And then this is the one that I actually used on the card. You're going to see the difference here in just a minute. Let me make sure I get this inked up good. I added more ink to some of these, and so the ink's in some spots a little bit more darker than others. So um, bear with me there. So you can see here, I mean, it's not quite dry yet, but right here on this card, I only use the one stamp. Can you see how it looks kind of variegated? I'm gonna bring that right up here on the camera. So for this look right here, you don't need to even do um, any kind of second or more stamping. You don't have to do anything. You uh, you can just use the one and it gives you that look that's got the different um, hues built right into it. Now, if you wanted to do the third one on top for more color variation, you can. So what I'm going to do is I am going to clean off the one that has the most on it and I'm going to do that one in a lighter color and then we're going to stamp the one with the less variation on it on top of it using mossy meadow since mossy meadow is a fun dark green so let me use pear pizzazz okay so I'm going to use pear pizzazz and um, we are going to stamp the one that has a lot of the outline to it using pear pizzazz. I'm just gonna stamp that down and I should have a mat under this, so bear with me. I'm gonna, another little tip, if you put your hand underneath there, you can really adhere that cardstock to it and it makes sure that the ink sticks to it. Okay, so there you have the, um, the pear pizzazz. And now I'm gonna go back on top of it with the one that's got a little bit less detail using the um, mossy meadow. So you can see what it does to the card or to your tree. So you still get, let me have you guys compare that to mine right here. So again, it depends on how much variation you're looking for, but can can you imagine what you could do with the different colors of green based on all the greens we have? You could incorporate soft succulent with evening evergreen, shaded spruce with old olive. You could do a lot with this. You could also incorporate the fall colors. I chose to kind of stick with the summer on this card because, you know, we're in summer right now. But the sky's the limit, and so I encourage you to get creative. Pull out your ink pads and start stamping with this and see what kind of fun colored cards you can make with it because Stampin' Up's done all the hard work for us by making the stamps that you just stamp and they look pretty awesome, I think. Okay, so for this card, we're going to actually make that one together. I used um, the... Two, 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 um, color did I say this was? Yeah, Knight of Navy. So I used Knight of Navy for my card base. And then I have Mossy Meadow that is cut five by three and three fourths. And then I have a piece of Balmy Blue that is cut three and a half by two and a half. And then I have a piece of the Designer Series paper. So this Designer Series paper is the same paper that that I used on the card box and I put that on the bottom. So let's do a little bit of adhesive onto these and get the stuff glued down. So this week is also our um, county fair, our Isabella County Fair. And in past years, my girls have taken pigs to the fair um, and we did not do pigs this year. We just weren't comfortable buying them, not knowing with COVID if we were gonna be having a fair because we didn't have a fair last year. And it's just a big expense for us and we don't have a lot of, I wouldn't say connections, but we don't know a lot of people to try to sell the pigs to if there was no fair. So we chose not to do 
um, the fair this year, which I'm kind of glad that we didn't because if we did, Natalie would not have been able to go to her dance camp. Um, her dance camp is at a college about a half an hour away. So she's living right in the dorms and this would have been her last chance to do the camp, the dance camp. So I kind of feel like it was a blessing in disguise, even though I, I do know that um, they're kind of, I'm sure, missing it a little bit. But um, I know my husband did not miss did not miss having pigs this year. They're a lot of work. You gotta keep them cool in the summer, make sure they have a mud hole before you take them to show them. You gotta clean them and they're a lot of work. And my husband's like, the amount of money that you get back on them, is it really worth it? And so anyway, but I do know that it's been a little bit of, a, Natalie's been gone, so she hasn't seen it, but Claire has um, seen the fair in action. So I'm sure it's bugging her just a little bit that she hasn't been able to go. But anyway, um, she's probably going to go tomorrow night with her cousin and go ride rides and still have fun. So that'll be good. Um, and then what I did for this piece right here, and I don't even know the size of this, but I'm going to tell you it here in just a minute. Um, and I know I've shared this tip on my Facebook lives before, but if you don't know what size to make something, you can always measure the stamp. Okay. So what you would do, I'm going to actually show you this tip because I think sometimes it's easy for us us to just sit here and make cards with you and tell you the sizes but I think it's also important for us to show you how we come up with those sizes so I have my trimmer brought in here and I'm actually gonna pull one of the stamps off my block I just cleaned it <coughs> so what I do now you could also use a ruler I just use my trimmer because it's usually in front of me when I'm designing <coughs> excuse me I actually measure this so I stick it right on my cutter and I'm like, okay, so this is two and a quarter. And because I right here's my cutting blade, so I know that it's two and a quarter. <coughs> then I turn it the other way and measure it the same way and go, this is two and three fourths. So I'm gonna guess that this piece is two and a quarter. Okay, I went two and a half by okay i made it a little bit bigger but i could have done it a little bit smaller i want a quarter of an inch bigger but do you see how you do that i mean i again i could have cut it smaller but that's how you do it measure your stamp don't feel don't be afraid to measure your stamp so whatever size you make that one your next one's going to be a quarter of an inch bigger so since i cut this at two and a half by three this one needs to be two and three fourths by three and a quarter Okay, so I think it's important that you guys kind of learn that a little bit so that you're able to um, know how I come up with my sizes. So um, I must have decided to go a quarter of an inch bigger on that, which, okay, not sure why, but I must have decided to do that. Um, but it still works, right? And now I did stamp this one in advance when I was stamping my other cards. So we're just going to glue these two together. Thank you, Philomena. Like I said, sometimes I think it's um, you know, that stops people from trying to figure out how to make a card. And I don't want that to stop you guys because it's, it's really not too, too hard. You can also use a ruler if you'd rather use a ruler. What I like about using my, my trimmer is that those photopolymer stamps, they stick right to it. So you don't even have to worry about trying to move them. It'll just stick. I need to get my water. You guys I have this tickle that's driving me crazy. Okay. Woo. Now I feel better. I think so anyway. Because ever get a tickle in your throat that just won't go away? You just feel like, oh my gosh, that's what's happened. Okay, so and I'm using the edges of my dimensionals because I don't let them go to waste. And I put that in the center of my card. Like this. And then I threw my little greeting on the bottom. Then I stamped, you truly inspire me. Now this card would be perfect, perfect to send to somebody who does truly inspire you. So like my mom, this would be a great person to send. My mom truly inspires me. I've always told her I've been so impressed with after my dad passed, how <coughs> she just kind of kept going for all of us and, and, you know, I was kind of worried how she would do with all that. And she, I, and I told her, to, told her that right to her face one time. I'm like, mom, I'm so proud of you. So proud of you. She's like, well, that's what you have to do. You know, you got to pick it up and keep going. But so this, I love that saying, you truly inspire me because it can be done um, for so many different people in your life. 
Okay, and then I added a couple of the Gilded Gems. Oh, good, Cindy, I'm glad it's not just me, because I'm feeling like, ugh. And then I'm just gonna add a couple of the Gilded Gems, which most of you know that these are actually some of my most favorite ever um, embellishments that Stampin' Up! has to the card. And there you have a really pretty simple card. So um, now again, I want you to think about this card. If you if you decide to get the paper and the and the the, stamp, the bundle, if you don't have it already, you could incorporate different colors. You could use like a Mary Merlot on this. You could use some of the, the fall themed paper. You, you could change this to be like a yellow color with Mary Merlot on top of it. So you could really get, get creative with what you do um, with this the set. So when you see a card that's created, I want you guys, I encourage you guys to think about what else you could do differently just by changing out colors and color schemes. Oh, thank you, Philomena. Because that's what I'm always looking for, okay? So there's that card that I created for you guys. Okay, the next card that I'm gonna share with you is, let me see here, because I've got so many and it's already 10 to eight. All right, let's see here. I'm gonna share this one with you because this one I think is so simple and easy and beautiful, okay? So this is that piece of paper that I showed you that you could just cut in half and then cut it down and make six different um, card um, base or card uh, mats with it. And that's what I did right here. So for this one, and all I did for this is I incorporated a couple of the colors that are included in this designer series paper. Again, I chose to use Knight of Navy and I paired it with the Mary Merlot. And I love the look of this. So I'm just gonna fold my um, card stock in half. And then I have the Mary Merlot that's five and a quarter by four, followed by the designer series paper that is five by three and three fourths. So I'm just gonna go ahead and adhere these two together. And then we're gonna go ahead and adhere this down. Um, I love this paper too, Shireen, it is so pretty. And again, so versatile for making cards for the fall, for the summer, so much. And then I did my typical little zigzaggy um, technique right there. So I just put three little hunks of ribbon there, and, or three hunks of ribbon, three strips of adhesive. I'm looking for my ribbon, yeah, that's what I meant. And I'm just gonna start it. Whoops, let me make it go over a little bit further. Okay, so I'm just going to start it here. So I gotta tell you guys what happened to me today at work. So my boss knew it was my birthday, and he um, gave me a really nice card and a gift card to a restaurant, which was so nice. And during, we had a, um, I'm part of the leadership team for where I work, and we had a leadership team meeting today. And um, he made the comment in the leadership team that it was my birthday, and I was like, ah, oh, so all 12 people knew. And then he said that he was gonna, he said, yeah, she's gonna go home though and do something with her time this afternoon because she doesn't need to be here all day. And it kind of made me excited. I was like, oh my gosh, yes, yes, yes. So I was trying to decide, okay, which class am I gonna design first for, um, for September? Because you guys, I have August almost done already. That's how I roll. But anyway, so I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do and what I'm going to design. And I didn't leave work until quarter to six. I'm telling you. So what happened is my boss ended up being um, going home not feeling well today. He's on um, some medication that bothers his stomach, um, new medication. And he went home and he had a report that was due um, next week and he's gone part of next week. So he asked me if I would work on it for him. And so I stayed. Teamwork, right? So anyway, I didn't get to come home early. So I was a little bummed, but that's okay. So I worked late on my birthday. So, but it's all good. That's why it's going to be ice cream night for me. Okay, so on the beauty of friendship, I chose to use the friendships refresh the soul. And then I used this real little one right here. Um, Shelby, this is the Beauty of the Earth paper. And it's actually on sale right now. I didn't mention that to you guys. The, de the Designer Series paper sale is going on now through August 2nd. So you can get this paper for $9.78. It's normally $11.50. So it's a great time to get this paper if you want it, okay? Um, and again, for any of you that are joining me late, I just want to reiterate that today is my birthday. Make sure you go back and watch the beginning of the video because I have a birthday tier 
on that says birthday queen and it's pink and glittery and sparkly and um I'm offering 20% off an order as part of my birthday promotion through Sunday night. So if anybody's interested in that, um, there'll be an ordering link added after my Facebook Live. But I like this little um, this little uh, like splatter right here. And so that is what I did. I stamped the Friendships Refresh the Soul in the Mary Merlot. And then I used the little splatter with the Cinnamon Cider. And then I, what I did again, I measured the stamp so I knew how big to cut this. And then I cut my cinnamon cider a quarter of an inch bigger all the way around um, to be able to mat this together perfectly. So I'm going to go ahead and adhere these two together. And then I put them onto my actual card using some dimensionals. And I was very strategic where I put that adhesive so that I cover up all that adhesive where I for that ribbon that I did, okay? So I'm gonna put a couple of dimensionals on the back of this. Let me see here. Yeah, I could probably have gotten away with just, we'll do it this way. Good enough. <sighs> All right, so I'm just gonna put this on there like that. This will go on here like this covers up all that stickiness. There's nothing on there. And then we're going to top it off with a couple of the gilded gems. And I'm just going to put a couple down here on the bottom. So in this ribbon, I have, you know, off to the side a little bit more, but that's okay. No two cards need to be the same, right? <laughs> and there you have that card right there. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna share with you the next few cards that I created. Um, and then I'm gonna give you guys again some more inspiration ideas of different things that you could do with it as well. So the next card is this one right here. So I know that I talked to you about this paper at the very beginning of my video. So this is where I used that awesome paper with that die. And then I just cut out the tree that goes behind it and I just put the two together. Now you're probably going to say, how did she get the back so pretty? Our blending brushes are awesome and I've shared them with you in a different video. I just used the, um, the blush, the, our blending brushes with the, um, the, oh, what's the ink color I used? Balmy blue. And then I used, this as a little bush, put a little knot there with the ribbon, a little thank you. Um, but again, you, if you change the color, so this time I used the fall themed one, but if I decided to run that dye through on that green paper that I showed you, and you could make this into a summer themed tree. Okay, and then you would just change out the paper to maybe be the um, blue and green or something like that. So there is this card right here. Um, and then I wanted to showcase the dies together where you use the solid one with that detailed one on top with using um, solid colors. And I like how that turned out. Now the colors that I used on this in the background of this is Granny Apple Green and I paired that with the Old Olive. <coughs> so the Granny Apple Green really sticks out. Can you see that? Those bird dies are inside of those dies. Um, I maybe not. I may have overlooked those on you when I brought the dies in before. But those birds are in here somewhere. I know they are. Somewhere, somewhere. Oh, they're right here. So you actually cut out both birds at the same time. Isn't that slick? So I cut out the birds, the two red birds using, or the birds using red to make them cardinals, put them in the tree, made a really beautiful summer themed card. Um, I inked around the edges with the old olive to kind of make that stand out a little bit. Use the um, soft suede to add that on there. Again, using that same gold ribbon. Um, so there's another card. And then my last card is this one right here. And I showcased this one with the, the little tree um, and that paper, making it again, kind of like a spring or a summery fall themed card. <coughs> so all those cards would fit in one of those boxes. Let me bring in my box. Man, you guys, I really had that tickle. Let me bring in one of my boxes. So now that you've seen all the cards, I can leave them face up. But you can see that those cards fit in here perfectly. And it all coordinates because the paper matches. And I'm gonna even put in the other one that I created here. So here's two more. So this right here is fitting. So I don't have the envelopes in, but this is one, two, three, four, five, seven cards. So you could probably easily get by with, 
I would say eight with envelopes because you don't want to kind of have this busting at the seams. You want it to kind of be a nice little gift set, gift box. Um, and again, you could decorate this up. You wouldn't have to put ribbon around it if you didn't want to. You could just put a tree on the front if you wanted to or a little tag to you from me or anything that you wanted to do. Again, I just wrapped that ribbon around it to be able to have a, a way of um, keeping it shut. Ice cream sure will, Janet, because I'm excited to go get that ice cream for my birthday. All right, so let me do a little recap of my projects with you again tonight. So these are the cards that I showcased um, and also that box. So again, I wanted to remind all of you about my ordering promotion. Any of you that put in an order, um, you can either message me your order or you can put it in online. If you do an online order, I will reimburse you the the 20% savings. Um, if you want me to put your order in for you, you can just message me and I'd be happy to do that. Um, but it's a, my, my birthday and I'm giving you guys a deal. How's that? So it's 20% off a Stampin' Up! order now through Sunday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And um, it's a great time to stock up on the, the, the designer series paper. You can get this paper on sale for $9.78 plus 20% off that even. And um, again, if you're looking at the bundle, it'd be a great time to get that bundle as well. So thank you all so very much for taking some time to spend part of my birthday with me. I hope you enjoyed my projects for tonight and my cute little box that I created. And next week, we'll be talking about and sharing the, the Penguin Place bundle, the brand new bundle in the um, um, holiday catalog that begins on... Um, on Tuesday. So thank you all so very much for joining me again. Uh, so nice to be back with you live. And um, I look forward to seeing you guys all back next week. So thanks everyone and have a wonderful weekend. Bye.